Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. Hello everyone and welcome to the Great Debaters Contest. We are in Eldoret region and I am Austin Nyumbok. I am Mariam Bishar and today we have debate giants, Warang High School and Kapsabet High School, debating on whether the reshuffling of government officials improves efficiency. <laughs> Proposal number one, you have three minutes. My name is Leroy Utonga Guantai, Kapsabet Boys High School. 2,600 years ago, on a peninsula jutting into the Mediterranean Sea, a group of people who had gotten sick of the tyrannical forces that had taken over their lives had denied them the chance to speak out, came up with this forum of debate. And that is why today I stand here with the same father and spirit to say that I strongly propose that reshuffling of government officials does not improve government efficiency. Why do I say so? But before I get into that, let me give you a vivid description of what reshuffling of government officials is. According to Longman English Dictionary, the reshuffling of government officials refers to the process enacted by a government leader which involves shifting of officials from docket to docket. Reshuffling takes place in instances where we see people being sacked and new ones being appointed. We also see reshuffling when an official dies and ultimately loses incumbency of the seat. Now, let me tell you something, my fellow my colleague debaters, many of you here believe in democracy. Or am I making an assumption? How many do not believe in democracy? Now, democracy is what our government is built on. But I have sad news for you when I talk about reshuffling and democracy on the same page. Because, because of what? Reshuffling of government officials undermines democracy. Reshuffling undermines democracy in the sense that we are members of a government. We have a role to play in whatever body governs us. So it comes to, to our notice that we cannot let delicate issues, issues of national gravity, be handled by reshuffling of government officials. Reshuffling of the cadabras, docket to docket gymnastics, is that what we want our country to look like? No, we cannot have reshuffling. The, this process is actually an antithesis of the normal electoral process, achieving the opposite. This process of reshuffling does not have job interviews, job applications, job criteria. This process does not have any right whatsoever or any credibility allowing somebody to appeal against an unfair dismissal. This is why I tell you this. Why should we venture into the murky world of government reshuffles when we have efficient methods of improving government efficiency? Take, for example, the splendid method of agentification. What is agentification? Agentification is a simple formula of incorporating market principles into the political structure. Eh? If you're the best, you get the best. If you're not the best, you, you get out. That is why I tell you one thing. Let us leave this issue of reshuffling to simple card games like poker, not to delicate issues of national gravity. Question number one, you have three minutes. A new broom sweeps clean. My name is Kandi Faith Kolum, representing Wareng High School. I totally oppose this motion because when we reshuffle government officials, we tend to discourage corruption. We can relate corruption decrease in one way. Let us relate this issue with a driver who has been used to the Nairobi Eldred Highway. And then you reshuffle this driver from the Nairobi Eldred Highway and you take him to be, to be operating the Eldred Kisumu Highway. This driver was well conversant with the Eldred Nairobi Highway knowing the potholes, knowing if I take this direction, I will, I will be able to hit up, up a bump and it will cause great catastrophe. Well, if you reshuffle government officials, you give them an opportunity to curb corruption. We all know 
I know that corruption takes time to develop, just like a baby takes time to develop in a womb, from becoming a zygote to an embryo and then to a fetus, just like corruption. It takes time to develop from one stage to the other. When you reshuffle government officials, you, you, get, you, you, you don't give these officials the opportunity and the time to be able to hatch these corrupt deals. Hence, I totally agree that reshuffling of government officials does improve efficiency. I am so passionate and I'm really waiting to see the Vision 2030 come into reality. We have three goals and three pillars, or three pillars, if you wish to call them, of our Vision 2030. That is the social pillar, the economic pillar, and the political pillar. This brings me close to my second, second point. That is reshuffling based on merits. You can reshuffle a government official according to their good performance. 42% of the Kenyans living today cannot be able to afford a decent meal on their tables. I will quote a certain line from our lovely national anthem, Natukai na undugu. Really, are we staying with undugu if one of my Kenyans is sleeping hungry? No, that is not undugu. We can be able to achieve the three pillars of, of our Vision 2030 if we reshuffle government officials based on merits. I can take one government official who is performing very well, very competent, and take them to a docket that doesn't perform. This will improve efficiency. My pastor loves saying that your replacement is always better. Thank you. We now have rebuttals, proposals, you have three minutes. Fellow Kenyans, friends, before you, Shadrach Mokaya, a team player of Kapsabet High School. Now, friends, do not be deceived. The opposers are giving us nothing less than cliches, cliches similar to those that parents tell their children that you are bought from a supermarket, outlight rise. The opposer has just stated that government reshuffle reduces corruption. I beg to differ. Now you will agree with me that in the year 2008-2009, there was a government reshuffle. And it is during that reshuffle that the then Minister for Agriculture in the country, currently our Deputy President, William Samoy Ruto, was involved in a heinous maize scandal worth 800 million. I repeat, 800 million, not pennies, millions. Now, the government, in its quick efforts to calm down Kenyans, did a reshuffle. And from agriculture, he was taken to the Ministry of Science and Technology and Higher Education. Do you term that as efficiency? I term it as the government being cowardice. I term it as the government sweeping the dust under the rug. It does not take accountability for its actions. Secondly, you tell us that reshuffling enables, is based on merit. I will remind you that just recently, the Prime Minister of Britain, David Cameron, reshuffled his cabinet. And one of those colossal cabinet secretaries that were reshuffled was one Matthew. The Matthew guy was replaced from, was, was taken from a Ministry of Education to a chief whip. Now seriously, education to chief whip. What's the relation? Which brings me to my next point. Government reshuffling is an act of personal and political interest. Back to my example. David Cameron has just reshuffled his, his, his cabinet 10 months before the 2015 elections. 10 months before Britain goes to an election to choose a new prime minister. His reshuffles were aimed at making sure his campaigns work successfully. One famous professor of government, Colin Tiblin, termed his reshuffle as this, and I quote, it is more of an election machine now than a government. Taking people to fight for you and your own personal rights, rather than considering those very citizens that entrusted you with the responsibility of serving them. If you term that as efficiency, 
we are not on the same page. Lastly, reshuffling weakens other government departments. You will remember that in the year 2008, 2009, in the same reshuffle, the Ministry of Sports and the Ministry of Fisheries suffered. Ryan will compliment me further. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes. After listening to such hogwash, I've come to the conclusion that our fellow colleagues here do not do enough research. Reshuffling, you have said that it promotes dictatorship such that consultation is not taken. Actually, reshuffling will be effective if consultation is there. Reshuffling is done after a committee sits down and decides that reshuffling must be undertaken. You have said that it does, not, it does undermine democracy. Who said so? It does not undermine democracy. We must sit together and decide who are we going to reshuffle. Not just saying that I don't like you, so I will reshuffle you. I am Tony Omondi from Warang High School. And I will, propose, I will oppose this motion that says reshuffling does not bring efficiency. 15th October 19, I mean 1891, the government of South Korea reshuffled its government officials. After reshuffling, they saw great improvement in the warfare department. South Korea actually amazed America by coming up with nuclear warheads. America never saw that coming, thanks to reshuffling. Reshuffling improves efficiency. My first point. If you look at Dubai, Dubai is a country to be emulated. It is the most, it is the best tourism attraction in the whole world. The Palm Islands to the Burj Khalifa, and we all this, we owe all this to reshuffling. Currently, we have Sheikh Mohammed Al Mahab, the Prime Minister to Dubai. He has reshuffled twice ever since he came to power. And look at how Dubai has come. It has come, it has brought, it has brought a formidable run against those who oppose it. My second point, reshuffling brings out balance. Remember the late George Saitoti. May the good Lord put his soul in eternal peace. George Saitoti was an eloquent man. He was a man to be emulated. Whenever he would stand, you would tremble. He had held the docket of education, but then the education was exceedingly performing, but security was actually dwindling. So what the president decided to do, he took Saitoti from his docket and brought him to the security which, he, which we saw. Security started improving from then on. You cannot say that reshuffling will not improve efficiency. We saw it, but unfortunately he died. May God rest his soul. So you cannot ask us to ask a fish to fly. That is impossible. Fish swim. And as I finish, Muhammad Ali said, practice, practice, practice. The government officials should practice on their dockets. Thank you. Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. The proposers have been asked about giving the definition of reshuffling as what happens when people die, yet they are against reshuffling, so they need to expound on that. And the opposers have been challenged when they talked about um, Korea reshuffling its government and then breaking into war. Is that really a positive thing that should be applauded? <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Meroka, Kapsabit High School. Now, to the questions that have been put across today, there was one question on our definition on the word reshuffle. We did say that reshuffle takes place when someone dies. It is common knowledge among us that when someone dies, you must replace that, that person. We say that putting people from one ministry to another is what is wrong. 
So let me hope the question has been answered well. My colleague Shadrach, before he finished, he was talking about weakening of governmental departments. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you and I to take a journey. Look at this corrupt person in a government. Someone has been found in fraud charges. He has connections to the leader of the government. He goes to his friend and says, friend, they are catching up with me. You need to save me. What does the leader do? The leader takes this person, puts him in a different department so that this corrupt official can escape his predicaments. What does that state? This person has no visions. This person has no strengths. His main objective is just to save himself. That department, the people working under it, they will have no morale. What will happen? It is going to fail. One Monica Patrick, an activist, said, new procedures and systems challenge employees who are used to working or performing tasks in a different way. The natural resistance to change and uncertainty. They are the ingredients to unhappiness and poor job performance. But let again, let us not forget about the girls being reshuffled. We have a very hard-working citizen. This hard-working citizen is keen to propel his country to the next level. Someone corrupt is put into his post. He is sent home abruptly. He was the sole breadwinner. I want us to imagine ourselves as the child to this person. Your dad or mom comes home one day and tells you, son, we must move out. You're being sent to the cold because of someone corrupt. Is that efficiency? Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elizabeth Wamboy from Wareng High School. I appreciate the question that my learned friend has posed to us. The answer is, at that time when the reshuffle took place in South Korea, it was during the time when we had the rush for supremacy between South Korea and the USA. Yes, indeed, it is not a point to be applauded because it brought war, as you have said. But come to the local situation. Don't you think that if you have a skill in a certain docket and lose a skill in, and you do not have rather a skill in the other docket, yet there is a person B who has a skill in the docket B which do not have uh, the skill in, don't you think the reshuffle will do you good? Of course it would, so that we utilize the skills and abilities. Answered? I am Kenyan. I'm proud to be Kenyan. And today as I stand before you, you are witness to the widest smile ever. It has always been my dream that one day I will stand in front of a congregation like this, where I will see Nafula sit with Wanjala, where I will see Kipchoge sit with Wamboi, where I will see all the tribes mix. That will, be, will represent our national interest. Take an example. If the tribe A is given the docket, maybe the finance docket, a tribe B is given the youth affairs docket, a tribe C is given another docket, at the end of the day, aren't we representing the national interests? Oh yes, we are. On to my second point. As I've said, identification of skills and abilities. And this, I want to pose a challenge to our honorable judges. If it is possible, our honorable judge minor, would you please later sometime take the position of Austin Nyambok? And let's have Austin Nyambok take your position so that we see if you really have the skills, so that we see if you have the ability. <laughs> and by doing that, ladies and gentlemen, don't you think we'll be promoting diversity in our work? And that is why I strongly advocate for reshuffling of government officials, so that we have, for example, a commander trying out matching, and the one who is talented in marching, trying out commanding, at the end of the day, diversity. On to my third point, controls unemployment. If I move you from this side you're seated to the other side of the hall, have I taken you out of the hall? Of course, no, you're still inside. And if, as a mother, 
your child makes a mistake. Do you kill the child? Of course, no. But you give room for the child to improve by correcting the child. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I advocate for reshuffling of government officials. Thank you. We'll now have closing submissions. Proposes, you have a minute. Worthy opponents, friends, I am a fanatic for, child and to for children and toddlers, and my neighbor has one. And like any other loving mother will do, she took her child to school. Only that the child performed dismally, repeatedly, and she thought that the solution would be changing the schools for the child. The reaction countered. It was negative. His performance continued plummeting. Remember, same child, different schools, terrible results. Consistency in a failure and a drop. Now take it that the mother is the government and that that child are those government, that the schools are the government officials. Now, changing government officials for the government does not improve efficiency. It simply worsens it. It causes more and further decay. A rolling stone gathers no moss. It never has, it never will. And in the words of one Francois Holland, he said, never again shall we find the response in government reshuffle, no matter how wide its scope but in the complete and major turn of direction in the government. I rest my case. Opposition, you have a minute for your closing statement. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may quote the words of a famous musician, Kenyan by nature just like me, Giuliani. In his song, Hela, he says, Chumvi kwa chakula, nasukari kwa chai, which is Kiswahili to mean salt to the food and sugar to the tea. Ladies and gentlemen, let us have our leaders holding the right positions. Let us have our leaders sit in dockets that they are able to lead. Let us have our leaders come out of dockets where they harbor corruption and we will all see a Kenya that we wish to have. And if I may remind you, one man, by the name of Lamarck, came up with a theory, an evolutional theory, that explains this, that once upon a time, some organisms, for example, the human beings, had some organs in the body which were not useful. For example, it is said that we human beings had a tail. Now, that tail was not useful, and it became extinct. These are called vestigious organs. Let us open our eyes and use them today so that they are useful and they do not become extinct just like we had a tail. So that one day you don't wake up and tell your child, once upon a time we had eyes but we did not look at truth and so it became extinct. Let us reshuffle government officials. This will improve efficiency. Thank you. Let me talk to Amboy. You made reference to Austin and minor trading places. One, I want to commend you for being a good speaker. As a, good, as a debater, you are believable. Uh, I love your, uh, the way you play with your voice, and I love your stage presence. Tony, I think, uh, one advice I'll give to you is talk to your opponents while looking at your audience. You are focusing a lot on them. At one point, I felt we, 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 you ignored us, actually because you really wanted to turn and look at them. Believe you me, no matter how much you talk to them, you will not convince them. This is a debate. They will stick to their positions. So the best you can do is simply communicate to us, and we shall believe you, and we shall accept your position. Nonetheless, as I've said, it was a good debate. Capsabet boys, Guantai, I mean, I just love the, fa the, the way you're free, you're natural, you speak it as it is, you're not intimidated at all and you're very confident and I love the fact that you speak your mind and you begin your team with a punch. That was a powerful even ending, great points and wonderful. In fact, I missed you coming back again to speak. Shadrach, you also come across as a very good cross-examiner, well-read and you're very much organized within time and you end your points. Meroka as well, good submissions, good questions, uh, good, good quotations I mean and the way you also answer your questions was lovely.
You also have a good voice uh, across the team. However, check on your time because you underutilized time, which penalized your team a bit. We have Warang High School with 73%. Please give them a round of applause. Capsabet Boys High School. The judges awarded you with 80%. We'd like to thank Safari Mpesa and KBC Channel One. Remember to hit the follow button on Twitter at Great Debaters EA. But thank you for, much, uh, for watching from all of us here at the Great Debaters Contest. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yumbok. Catch you next time. The Great Debaters Contest was brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa.